Hi, I'm Aviva Goldfarb of the Six O'Clock Scramble, and I'm going to show you how to make a quick omelet. It's a great meal anytime, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, in my opinion. My daughter loves them. In fact, my whole family loves them. So a lot of people ask me how you make an easy omelet. I'm going to show you my tricks that I learned from Chef Danielle Turner, actually. So I have three eggs. An omelet, a typical omelet is usually three eggs. I'm just beating them with a fork. Keep it simple. Everything can go in the dishwasher, which is nice. And over here in my pan, I have one teaspoon. It's a nonstick skillet, and I have one teaspoon of butter heating up in here. And the, one of the tricks is to get the butter really hot. So you want it to be all nice and bubbly. And it's just about there. And so I'm going to show you a different way. Probably most people, when they learn to make an omelet, kind of push back the egg from the sides and let it harden underneath. There's an easier way that I learned from my friend, and I'm going to share it with you today. So I am just making a simple cheese omelet, but if you were going to make fillings like onions or peppers or anything like that, you would saute those a little bit first and then take them out and we'll add them back in later when we add the cheese. So I have my three eggs I've beaten. The pan is nice and hot. And I am going to, of course, add my eggs to the pan. An omelet is a great high protein and actually it's not that high calorie. Probably the whole thing with the cheese and the butter is about 300 calories. So it's a little sort of mini meal. It's a great high protein snack or meal anytime. And of course you can make it to your own desire. But here's the trick. So I put in the eggs and instead of doing that trick that you've seen people do before, I'm going to scramble the eggs just like I'm making scrambled eggs. Although when I make scrambled eggs, I put funny things in them like plain yogurt and cottage, plain cottage cheese. So anyways, I'm going to scramble the eggs and then when they start to harden, then I'm going to smooth it out into the omelet shape. So here, we're not quite there yet. We don't want too runny. I'm going to keep scrambling. Another thing I like to put in my omelet sometimes is smoked salmon or a little bit of ham or kind of whatever you have left over in the fridge. It's a good way to use up little odds and ends in the fridge. A great kind of sixth night scramble, as I sometimes call it. Okay, so now everything's getting pretty nice and hard. Perfect. So I'm going to take my spatula and I'm just gonna smooth it all out into the omelet shape that we know and love. Get that little stray piece down here. And there we go, we've got our nice smooth shape. Now I'm just gonna switch to this spatula. I'm gonna take my fillings and put them, actually I might've gotten a little too much cheese. You don't need too much, because it's gonna melt and spread out in there. Put it on half of the omelet. And that's gonna get nice and melty inside. Put just a little bit more in there. Whatever kind of cheese, I'm using shredded cheddar today, but you can use anything, Swiss cheese, Manchego, whatever kind of cheese that you like, or no cheese. I happen to like cheese in my omelets. We all kind of do. Okay, so here's my next trick, is you're gonna get it over to the side. You have to have a good nonstick skillet, and if your nonstick skillet is all kind of bashed up, it's time to get rid of it. Nonstick skillets, unlike, whoops, unlike cast iron skillets and other skillets, do not last a long, long time, just a few years generally. And you have to take care of them properly, but I'm not gonna go into that today. Okay, so I fold it over my omelet, just like that. I might have gotten my fillings a little too close to the edge because they're spilling out a little bit. And then I'm gonna give it about one minute on this side just to get nice and brown on that side. And then we're gonna flip it and I'm gonna season it with a little salt and pepper and it's gonna be ready to go. What is that, like two minutes? Pretty easy, all natural. Whoops, oh, I definitely put too much cheese in there. I got carried away. So I'm gonna give it a flip, get my spatula under there. There, it's nice and brown on that side. Now I'm gonna take my freshly ground pepper, although if I was making this for Celia, she'd want me to leave the pepper off. And I do really think using freshly ground salt and pepper makes a difference, but it's okay, whatever you have, whatever you like to use is great. Voila, we have our omelet. It's a little hot to eat, probably needs a minute or two to cool off, but that is it. How easy is that? That's just another quick cooking video from Aviva Goldfarb of the Six O'Clock Scramble. I hope you enjoy making your own omelets at home. Mmm. Good bite.